This is the solution to written homework 8. Okay, <clears throat> so the percent concentration of a drug is given like so. Find the time at which the concentration is maximum. Okay, <clears throat> well, I'll solve A by making a slope chart. <clears throat> so I'll make a slope chart. So A part 1. The first check is the natural domain. Well, because this is a physical problem, because this is a physical problem in the first place, we'll need that t is greater or equal to zero because it's a physical problem. That is to say that we're actually carrying out a physical experiment. The drug is being administered. And there's, it makes no sense to talk about the concentration prior to the drug being administered. So that's the first requirement. And now let's look. Can the denominator ever be zero. So we're addressing that question. Let's consider 3t squared plus 27. Well, that is 27. And this, we're squaring a t. So that means that if t is positive, t squared is positive. And if t is negative, t squared is still positive, because when you squared it becomes positive. This is greater than or equal to 27, because 3t squared is greater or equal to 0. And therefore, the denominator is never 0. And as a result, <coughs> the natural domain is t greater or equal to 0. Okay, so a point 2. Now we're going to find the critical points. Critical points. Well, let's compute the derivative derivative of k evaluated at t. So using the quotient rule, that will tell us that it is the derivative of 4t multiplied by 3t squared plus 27, and then minus 4t multiplied by the derivative of 3t squared plus 27, and then all divided by <coughs> 3t squared plus 27 squared. Okay, so that's the quotient rule. <coughs> so now I'll simplify this as much as possible. This will be 4 multiplied by 3t squared plus 27 minus 4t multiplied by uh, the derivative of 3t squared is 6t. all of this over 3t squared plus 27 squared. That will be uh, 4 times 3 is 12t squared. So 12t squared. And then plus 4 times 27. That should be 108. Let's check. 4 times 27. 108. And then minus 4 times 6 is 24t squared. <coughs> OK. All over 3t squared 
plus 27 squared. So that's equal to, um, let's, so we've got 12t squared minus 24, so that's negative 12t squared plus 108 all over 3t squared uh, plus 27 squared. Now let's try and simplify the numerator. So I'm wondering if 12 and 100, if 108 is divisible by 12, let's check that. It is. So you can factor out a 9. Uh, sorry, when you factor out 12, you get a 9. So I'm going to factor out negative 12. So negative 12. And then that would be t squared minus 9 over 3t squared plus 27 squared. So all of these are the derivative of t, or the, the derivative of k evaluated at t. And then now finally, t squared minus 9, that factors. Uh, to t plus 3 multiplied by t minus 3. So this would be negative 12 multiplied by t plus 3 multiplied by t minus 3 and then over <coughs> 3t squared plus 27 squared. Okay, so that's the simplified derivative. Now we need to address two questions. Is there anywhere that the derivative is undefined? Well, again, the only kind of place that that could occur is if the denominator is 0. But we already addressed that that kind of denominator can never be 0, so there are none. And then, is there anywhere where the derivative of k at t is equal to 0? And the answer is that that occurs at t is 3. And you should note here that t equal to negative 3, even though that looks like that's a place where the derivative would be 0, that's not in the domain. So that's not part of the, part of the exercise. Okay, so then a point 3 we can now make the slope chart <clears throat> the slope chart is that we start here at time is zero so nothing can occur to the left of zero and then there's a single critical point here at three so we need to select a point between 0 and 3, so how about 2? And something to the right of 3, so how about 4? And then we're going to take those points and we're going to plug them in to this simplified derivative into there and check for sine. Well, Negative 12, that's negative. And then if you plug in 2 into t plus 3, that's positive. If you plug 2 into t minus 3, that's negative. And then if you plug 2 into the denominator, that's something positive squared. Then if you plug in 4, well, negative 12 is negative, so I'll write negative for the negative 12. If you plug in 4 to that one, that's positive. If you plug in 4 to t minus 3, that's positive. And if you plug in 4 into the denominator, that's positive squared. Then the overall sign, the overall sign uh, in the left region, because there's two negatives, uh, is positive. So there's positive slope. And then the overall sign in the right region is negative. So negative slope. Okay, 
as a result, we can make our conclusion is that the relative maximum occurs at t equal 3, and that's hours. So that's, that's when the relative maximum occurs. Part B is, well, just what is that maximum? So the maximum value is at t equal 3, the concentration k of t is, so k evaluated at 3, that's just a matter of plugging it in there, so that's 4 times 3 over 3 times 3 squared plus 27, that sounds like a job for the calculator, <coughs> so 4 times 3 over uh, 3 times 3 squared plus 27. Uh, so that's equal to 0 0.2 repeating, 0 0.2 repeating. <coughs> so the concentration is this written as a decimal is 0. Point, uh, sorry, this written as a percentage is 0. Point, uh, 0.0022%. Oh, no, no. This is a uh, rather, since this is a percentage, yeah, so it's, it's just that. Uh, 0 0.22 percent. Okay, and that's the answer to the question.